Moving across to the left hand side of the steering wheel, we've got our indicators, left and right, flash, and then we've got our full beam away from you. Um, we've got an auto setting there for our auto um, lights going on and off, which obviously you can leave. Side light and full beam. And you can push away from there for your full beam. And then you've got your front fog lights and your rear fog lights as well. Okay. Then looking at the steering wheel, you've got the heated steering wheel button, your volume control. So your volume comes up on the bottom of your screen there. I don't know if you can see it going across the bottom. It also goes across the screen here. So we've got up and down here. We can hold that to mute it. Actually, I held it too long and it switched it off. Um, so we can just press it to mute it. And we've also got volume control on there. And press to mute it. Hold it to switch it off. Just push it again to go back on. So we can marry those two buttons up. We've then got our uh, button here, seek button, where we can move up through our preset channels. And then you've got your pick up and put down for your mobile phone. And then this button here is your um, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto voice control, which uh, I'll show you separately in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, looking down at the heater, heating system for a minute, we've got our indications for either side here, and our temperature up and down are on there, but it will, that will all show, show you every time that you do something on the heater, it will go up onto your main screen. Now, at the moment, we've got them synced. If we unsync those, it means we've got dual zone climate so now I'm, the driver's side is up to 24 passenger side is still 18. if we want them to be the same we just press the sync button we've got recycled air or clean air coming into the vehicle and then we've got direction of airflow buttons there auto just means it's going to get down to the temperature that we need it to get to as quickly as possible fan speed is done around the outside and you get a little indication on there. Aircon is the top half of the button, so press that and that will come on. And then you've got your on off, we can switch the whole thing off there. Now we've got demist the front screen and we've got demist the, uh, the rear screen on the cab as well there. Below that, both sides, we've got heated seats and we've got three levels of heated seat. You just press the right hand side and uh, you'll have your different levels but we've also got ventilated seats and that's just on the left hand side there okay then we've got a power outlet below that you've got a power charger usb point you've also got your usb point which we'll use in a second to connect up your apple carplay or android auto and a cigarette lighter there and then behind that we've got our gear stick now on the left hand side of the gear stick it says drive mode okay so there's three different ways your gearbox can operate that's in eco mode that's in power mode or winter by pressing that button and i'll press it it says just get out that for you it says eco down there at the moment i'll press that button once it's now changed to power what does that mean it means that the gears are going to stay in a little bit longer before they change giving you more time to accelerate in between gear changes so if you were pulling something really heavy and you felt you needed that extra uh, time in in a gear before it changed that's what you can do and uh, winter would just mean it will short change a bit quicker to reduce your, your chances of wheel spin things like that so that's all we need to do but obviously generally you're just going to be driving it in eco mode okay and then to change gear foot on the brake and then just pull it back so when we go into reverse we got our reverse camera coming up on there this is your bumper along the bottom so if you've got a tow bar on there you'll be able to see it easily 
Um, the red line is about 14, 15 inches off the back of the bumper. The amber or orangey light is about three feet away and the yellow is about six feet away. Uh, I always say reverse back against a, a wall and when the yellow touches the wall, get out, have a quick look, go back to the amber, get out, have a quick look, and then the red the same. And then in your head, you, you know exactly what's, uh, what each of those distances mean. Okay, now we come back into the neutral, we're in drive. Um, and you can see there's a little button on the side of the gear stick here. That's for changing gear when you're in manual. Now to go to manual mode, you can see it says D on there at the moment. I'm literally just going to push it to the left. We're now in drive, so we're in first gear. And to change gear up, there's a plus and minus on that little button there. To change gear up, we literally just nudge that forward. So I've now gone to second gear. I'm going to move it back again. Now in first gear. And that's that's that, and we're going to move that back up. Now, behind that, we've got our four-wheel drive system. Now, the car is in, in two-wheel drive rear. Okay, now we can change from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive high whilst we're on the move. Sort of sub-30, sub I would probably say 20, but sub-30 MPG, and you can literally just turn that knob around. I'm going to just go out of neutral so we can literally click that from two high to four high and it's just clicked in up here I don't know if you can read it but it says four high and now to change it into four low you uh, you would be on a level bit of ground literally ready to do some serious off-roading it's foot on the brake into neutral click that into four low you see it flashing on the screen there and you'll hear it clunk in so it's now clunked into four low you can you'll be seriously off-roading at that stage and then when you're about to come out of your messy field or whatever again level ground foot on the brake in neutral click it from four low to four high you'll see it flash you'll hear it clunk out and then again if we want to go into two high we just click it back up and the four highs disappeared now. And that's how you use the four wheel drive system.